Hello everyone, this is Shelly Rodrigo, your Cruise Director for e 241 this summer. Um, I decided I'm going to break up the introduction video into two pieces. The first one I'm going to quickly run through the major technologies we'll be using for the class just so you can get a sense of what they are. And then the second video I'm going to go through and try to briefly explain um, how the course is structured and what you'll be doing because it's probably nothing like you expect. So, if you're watching this video, you found this page. This is our course wiki website for ENH 241. You are the fourth section. Um, I teach one section a year in the summer. You're the fourth section to contribute to this wiki website. And you all have the interesting task of the past three sections, all they've done is really just dump in a bunch of content. Um, this year, you all are going to get to do some revision and cleaning up and making pretty. And don't worry, it's not it's not fluff work. Uh, but it's actually going to do fun things too, like the maps and the timelines and stuff like that. So, okay, uh, course wiki website. You should recognize the word wiki, Wikipedia. What wikis mean is it's easy to edit. So once you're logged into the website, on every page there should be this easy edit button, even on your members page. So if we go here to members, and I'll go to my page, there's that easy edit and it lets me start editing the page. Um, so when you're actually working in the course, you're going to be editing a bunch of pages within the course. So if some of you do enlightenment, you're going to hit edit here. Okay, so that's in a nutshell a wiki, easy edit. Um, you're going to be doing collaborative maps for the course. So the idea is for each p time period, major time period of early American literature, we're going to have a collaborative map. I have not, not made them all yet. Uh, but when you log into Google Maps, many of you probably go to Google Maps and you just use it to find stuff. Well, notice here there's a link that says My Maps. Um, once you're, when you're logged into your regular full-blown Google account, this is why you had to get a full-blown one, um, you can click on My Maps and all of a sudden you can create, see, create new map. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sharing with you, so here we have two, ENG, ENH241, getting to know you. I'm going to share with you this map and you're going to be responsible for putting stuff in it. Uh, similarly, uh, the other maps for the course. The timeline is actually going to work very much the same, that you're going to need to make an account. One thing, because I got you here trapped, uh, I want to show you when you log in, you click the login page, the login is kind of down here in the middle of the page. It just kind of is lost on the clutter of the page, and I just want to make sure you guys see it here. Anyways, um, when you log in um, where it says my time rhyme, hopefully, oh, I'm not logged in. Hi, la la la. That helps, right? Um, when you log in, you'll get My Time Rhyme and have the ability to edit. And again, that's how you're going to add nodes, so or here they're called items, add items to the collaborative timelines we'll be constructing. I'll place the timelines in our wiki website like I did on the Puritan page here. There we go. So it's an empty timeline because you all are going to fill it in. Uh, finally, I did ask you to get a full-blown Gmail account. Um, and the, the reason for that, besides using Google Maps, I'm going to share your um, grade sheet with you in Google Docs. So if you go into regular Gmail up here in the left far left-hand corner, you can click on Documents. And your shared grade sheet will look something like, let's go try to find an old one from last summer, summer 09, oh, what do you mean no folders? There we go. I should have an empty grade sheet somewhere. Well, I lied, I don't have an empty grade sheet. Well, it'll be a document. Oh, no, that's library slots. Come on. Uh, I guess I'm not finding one. Anyways, it'll be a spreadsheet document and you'll be able to see it, but I specifically want to show you this, that it, you can, once I've shared it with you, you can log into Google, click on documents, and you'll find it in your list. I mean, on my page, obviously, there's tons of stuff. I use this a lot. But you'll have a list here and the great shared grade sheet will poop, pop up right there and um, you'll be able to look at your grades whenever you want. And uh, notice over here.